Hey everyone, it's me Sherry. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to go over my monthly makeup drawer for June. I'm going to talk about May's makeup drawer. This is just some of the products. I'm going to talk about what I'm going to keep, what I'm going to um, switch out, like keep in the drawer I mean, what I'm going to switch out, if I'm going to toss any items, if I finished any items, and if I'm going to add any new items. So let's just get into it. These are some face products here. And... These are two primers. This is a MAC Prep and Prime, and this is the Maybelline one that's in my finish. Cassie's right there, so sorry. Um, finish 7 by Summer. So I'm going to keep those in there. I'm going to keep this foundation in here because I'm still trying to use it up by Summer. So we're going to keep that. We're going to keep this concealer, what's left of it, because I'm trying to finish that up by Summer. I'm actually going to keep this one up because I'm going to try to use that one up as well. This is my contour palette that I got in my boxy charm, and I'm going to keep that in there because I want to use that a little bit more but I already know that I like that so I'm going to keep going with that. I'm going to keep this MAC powder which is almost dead as you can see. This is going to stay in my drawer for June because I'm going to try to finish up the edges. It's, I could pretty much count this as gone if I wanted to guys but there is still some powder on the edges there and I'm trying to dig every last little bit out of it. I'm going to keep these two blushes in here because I think they're perfect for summer and I'm going to keep this out because I never really had a chance to use that much so I want to use that a little bit more. These are some products that I'm going to put out that I feel like I need to swap out so I'm going to take out this foundation for this month but I'll probably put it back in in July only because this I think this is going to be a good foundation for the summertime. I'm going to take out my, I do like this powder, but I'm just going to swap it out for something different this month. I love this palette. I know that I enjoy it. I did use these highlights quite a bit this month. I didn't use the contour as much, but I used the highlights quite a bit. So I'm going to keep that in. I don't know how I feel about this highlighter anymore. I still like it, but I don't know if it's my favorite formula anymore. But I'm going, I'm still going to keep it, but I'm going to swap these products out. So now I'm just going to switch over to some eyeshadow products and I'll, and then talk about those. Not just eyeshadow, eye products in general and lip products. And then I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to switch into. Guys, I'm sorry, I know the lighting's not the best here either because it's kind of, um, the sun's not on the side of the building. But it, I think it's good enough for this type of video. So I finished up my last sensational mascara. I don't have the tube anymore because Hubert accidentally threw it out. So that I'll be like that's one of my seven by summer items. So I added in the um, Lash Princess kind of like a week ago sort of thing because that's how I had to do that. I needed to finish up another mascara, so I had to add that in. But I'm going to be keeping that in there this month. I'm keeping in my Rimmel liner. I might add in another liner or two. I'm keeping in my Make Me Brow from Essence. I'm keeping in my Brow Gal palette. I'm keeping in my peach palette because honestly this is the one that I've been using the most. I'm trying to finish this up so this is staying in. Um, this is staying in however I used this only twice I'll be honest I only used it twice this month. Um, I used this sin color which I know I like. I used this color and I used this color. Guys I don't know if I like this palette much. I have to try to play around with it a little more, bit more. I know like some of these colors are nice for the summer and uh, some of them are kind of fall colors like these ones but I need to play around with this a little bit more like the pigmentation seems didn't seem the best on this one and this one when I used it so I don't know if it's maybe what I used to set my primer with that affected it or what so I'm going to play with this a little more this is the Urban Decay Shadow Box in case anybody was wondering um, and if I just don't find I'm using it, this might actually end up being passed along. But I am going to add another palette in because this doesn't have any um, matte shadows or anything. So I'm going to try to add another one in to supplement. So lip products. I'm going to keep this because I love this. Um, and I use it a lot on a daily basis even when I'm not wearing makeup. I'm going to keep this NARS Orgasm Lippy. I'm going to keep Coral Corruption in here. And I am going to keep my, not that one, I'm going to keep my ColourPop Kathleen Lights Aquarius in here. I'm going to switch out these two. I did use them a lot, but I don't, I feel like I only need like one nude in there. And I'm going to try to get some more brightly colored lipsticks in here for the month. So I'm going to take these out for the month. And now I'm just going to go and get some, pull some items from my collection and I'll show you guys what I'm adding to the drawer for the month. Cassie snoring. <laughs> So don't mind that. All right. So here's some products that I'm going to add in this month. So I'm going to add in my Benefit Blush Palette. Because I love Coralista in the spring and summer. 
and Bella Bamba and Dandelion. Yeah, so I'm going to add that in. And for eyeshadow palettes, I'm going to add in my Sugar Pop palette because, hello, this is the perfect time of year for this palette. And I need kind of like a palette with matte colors in it. So, geez, what's with me with adding... So I'm just... You guys know what the Naked 2 palette looks like. The ba Naked Basics 2. Everybody should know what it looks like by now. But just like this. So this is going to be for my mesh color needs, basically, because it has a cool tone and a warmer tone. And some, like, setting colors and stuff, so... Perfect. For foundation, I'm going to add in the Maybelline Matte Fit, Fit Me Matte and Poreless because I haven't tried this enough. I'm going to add in this NYX Banana Powder for setting under my eyes. Um, and if I finish the MAC powder, I'll just pull something else from my collection. I'm going to throw in this Too Faced sample, try to use that up. For highlights, I, I always try to put one drugstore in, so I'm going to take this one, which is an, a, newer to my collection, so it's Precious Petals from Wet n Wild. And I'm going to put in this, what's this, uh, Vintage by Jessica Leaves Kind. And it's a duo that I got in BoxyCharm. Oh my god, and I can't open it. Okay. So here's what those colors look like. They look really dark, but when you actually swatch them, they're not too bad. So I'm going to try to get some use out of these. And I could use those as eyeshadows too if I wanted to. And then here's some lippies that I'm going to add. Now, my MAC lippies I'm going to keep up in with my... But these are ones that I'm going to try to work on. So I have Snob, Viva Glam Nikki, and this is um, Sushi Kiss, but it's just in the Trolls packaging. But I'm going to try to use some of these. I always pull from my lipstick on the desk anyway, but these are just a couple that I'm going to add to the drawer. So I have um, this in... What color is this? Peony? Yeah, Peony. And I know this is technically a Christmas one, but it's like a pinky red, like a hot pinky red, like a strawberry color. And I think I can pull that off in the summer too, maybe. And I have one color pop lippy in my collection, other than the Kathleen Lights ones. And this is in, oh geez, Tipsy, I think it's called. There's what the color looks like. It's like a creamsicle color. And like I said, Snob. You guys probably know what these look like. That's Snob. I wore Snob yesterday, actually. And I forgot how much I liked it. I constantly pull from my lipsticks anyway, guys. Like, these are just ones that I'm going to try to add to my drawer. But I, I might end up pulling other ones. Sushi Kiss, which I haven't really worn yet. Because I bought it in the middle of the winter. So, And this is my all-time favorite MAC lipstick. I don't know if it's because it's, like, my first one ever. Which probably should be thrown out, but you can't buy this anymore, and it doesn't break me out or anything. It just, the smell doesn't smell horrible either, like it's not gone off yet, so. Yeah, so that is what I'm adding to my collection for the month. Okay guys, so it's a little more filled up than last month. I guess I could have really taken out some of these items and just played with some other ones. Because I don't have like the biggest collection like some YouTubers. But I think this is enough makeup to get me through the month. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is enough makeup to get me through a year, really. But who am I kidding? But yeah, this is enough choices for me for the month. So I'm really going to try to force myself to just only pull through this drawer again. I did really well last month and I only pulled through it. I think I'm going to continue on my no-buy in the month of June. See how that goes. Um, I, I kept it up all through the month of May, so that was awesome. And like I said, my MAC lipsticks are just up here, and I can pull any of these or, like, these lippies if I want anyway. I don't restrict myself, but I just try to use these colors more than pulling from my collection. So that is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you guys on my next video. Bye, everyone.